Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky. I just went on a date with Cindy, who, who liked my giant bug, and now I have to get my balls checked. So, Kurt, how are my balls looking? Lure ball, I already used it. Mm-hmm. That turned out great, I agree. Um, we have the Sunstone. I'm not gonna use it yet, because I actually... <laughs> it's gonna take a while for, um... Jolene to learn the last move, and if I evolve her early, then she's not gonna learn any more moves, and she's always gonna be stuck with this kind of lame mode move set that she has right now. So I'm gonna hold on to it for now. But all right, so I gave Kurt my ball. Now we'll continue on with the adventure, huh? We're gonna put Dom in the front. Man, feels good. And of course, the Pokemon that helped us win was Mr. Eabut. I haven't actually discarded any of the Pokemon in there because I don't really have the heart in me to get rid of Pokemon that... To be fair, I did catch all three of those Pokemon on three separate days on <laughs> the Pokemon Adventure. So maybe I'll just consider them just Pokemon I'll never use. How about that? Even though I would be very heavily tempted to use Scyther. Um, I'll put them in their own separate box, actually. Let me move them around. Uh, let's see, change box. Let me put name. No, delete. Delete, end. There's no way I'm gonna catch more. But. Okay, then. And deposit just for now just so I can get my bug my bug buddies at the there he is in all his glory Mr. E but he's the first one out deposit change sure uh-huh I can't believe this is an entire process, but sure. Pause it. And I do, in fact, need to get some more Pokemon out there, so I'm going to just deposit two more. Then change back the box. I played a puzzle like this exactly in uh, Professor Layton, so don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Uh huh. Saving. Don't turn off the bar. Okay. No. Withdraw. Caterpie. Um. Let me see. Where is he? Get Fisto. And then, where's Caterpie? There's Scyther. <laughs> Scyther. Okay. Changing box one more time. There. Then withdrawing nightmare in valley. Okay, change box. Box one. Yes, please. Ooh, action packed beginning of a episode for sure. Okay, back. Uh-huh. Your side duck's looking awesome? Really? Because let me tell you, I had a wonderful night with a bug-catching girl. She loved everything about what I was doing with my stuff. Anyway, let's get back into the adventure, huh? I'll try and keep it PG. I mean, that doesn't ever work out. It's just kind of the way I am. Sometimes it's for laughs. Other times, I just generally like to act kind of horny. I forget that there's sometimes kids watching this, so I gotta... It's not the right word for it. I like acting excited. There you go. That's an easy way of saying something for kids. Hey, intruder alert. What up, rocket grunt? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Mm-hmm. 
Now, if I remember correctly, none of these dudes actually have any psychic type moves. They do have hypnosis a whole bunch, though. So that's very annoying. But they're not actually a threat. Because no drowsy is a threat without. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Karate chop. Chop, chop, chop. Wow, okay. <laughs> Hello, Dom. Dom is dominating. All right. And as I've said before, the only moves that this stupid Zubat knows are Confuse and Bite. So as long as I avoid one of them, I should be fine. Son of a bitch, why do you know Supersonic and Confuse Ray? That doesn't make any sense. I hate you so much, Zubat. And I hate that Dom constantly hurts himself from this stupid bullshit move. Alright, let's see. Bring out Fisto. Go Fisto! Go Fisto! Hmm. Yes. Perfect. I mean, I don't know what I expect. Anything different from Kid Fisto. He hasn't been used lately, but that's only because people need to be put on his level. He's just too good. Damn right, you failure. Get out of my face. Who next? Where did you come from? Okay, sure, whatever. There's no escape. It's me, Team Rocket Grunt. This is my extremely offensive French accent. If you actually watch my, um, <laughs> Big Grand Order video for Salem, you can hear the- if you want to hear more of that accent, that's mostly that entire accent because freaking um, uh, French boy is in it. There's multiple French boys, I have to be more specific. Um, <sighs> Fudge. Fudge Sickle. What is his name? I cannot believe I'm forgetting his name. It's the executioner who killed, uh, Marie Antoinette. He is the man with the horsies on his, um, on his shoulders. And so I just talked like that a whole bunch. And that was like multiple episodes. And I thank all the ten people who watched that series. Because <laughs> hearing this voice constantly must have really sucked. I try my best, man. I mean, to be fair, some people enjoyed it. But if I don't get any feedback, I just assume if I don't see no likes... I just assume no one liked it. That's the way I go. That's why I understand in the most recent Fake Grand Order video I put out with uh, Songzon in an extremely revealing outfit, someone was not a fan. <laughs> so they left the dislike. <laughs> Which is fair enough. It's fair enough. I liked the outfit, to be fair. I thought it was a very nice outfit. Can I bring up the outfit? Alright, one moment. I'm gonna bring up the outfit here to show off. If you're under the age of 15, don't look. Okay, see now this? Look at this fantastic art. Doesn't it look great? Yeah. She looks great. Beautiful hat, detailed hat. Now, let's just go through the rest of the picture <laughs> as we see maybe why people weren't super comfortable with it. Let me put it. I just did that for dramatic effect. Oh yeah, you know what? This is... To the 10 people watching this right now, the rest of this episode is going to be special guest Song Zong right here in the corner. Actually, no. I'm going to put her. Whenever something good shows up, happens, I'll put her back up. For now, you can go away. All right. But yeah, you know. I like that picture. I think it's actually very well drawn. Very detailed, the shadows were fantastic, the pose was great, the the look of the eyes was fantastic. I thought it was a very playful tone to it. Um, not everyone, I guess, agrees with that. And by not everyone, I mean one person. <laughs> um, man, I tell you, making hard YouTube stuff is hard. You just, there's no recipe for stuff. You just kind of do things. And try your best, you know. I do my best, and that's why I provide such great episodes here, where I looked at um, 
Song Zong. Song Zong? The, the thing is, is that I want to say her name, which is Song Zong, but it's Chinese, so I actually have kind of difficulty pronouncing it, and so I don't want to, like, mess up her name. The problem is, is that I would use her nickname, but her nickname is Titty Monk, and I feel that's different levels. It's a very respectful nickname, um, in the sense that everyone who says it loves her, um, but it gives off the wrong vibe, I feel. <laughs> So I try and avoid it. But in, uh, in text, I'll gladly spell it out for you. It's no problem. It's actually the funny thing when I recently did a video and I used... I put Talisman, and funny enough, it was in the Frank, Fake Grand Order video where I actually spelled out Talisman. I was half expecting the word titty to show up. Because I actually use that word a whole bunch in my everyday language. And I probably should stop using it for YouTube videos because, like, they'll they'll track me down and stop me from using it, but... Eh. That's my current feeling. Nice crit, Dom. We'll get it. For every crit. Wha-bam! And now it's gone. She's only here... She'll only be here for hype moments after this. To be fair, Karate Hedgehog has a very high hit rate, so I'm actually not going to keep on using it, otherwise... Boo! What do you mean? Leer. This is the same thing that happened to me last time. Now I'm gonna karate chop your ass. I literally, no joke, if you hit yourself, I'm in a time loop. If you hit yourself, Dom, I'm in some kind of goddamn time loop, because this is literally playing out like the exact same last match. Okay, thank god. Woo! Woo! Okay, that, that crit, <laughs> that crit deserved a quick, um, flash. But that, that's it, that, I swear that's the last one. I only did it because it dealt so much damage. Um, Dom, don't get confused. See, now that Song Song's here, um, Dom no longer, like, he, suddenly his performance is up. He, he knows that he has to show up for a lady. And she, don't, do not be confused, she is 100%. Um, judging you if you are failing at anything you do. Oh man, more. It's my turn, there's no escape. Hmm. And again, I am on purpose activating all these so I can train up um, uh, Dom. I really wish that... <laughs> I'm so lucky that Zubat and Drowsy apparently suck ass at early stages, otherwise Dom would have died many years ago. Because, I, like, in later games, Zubat does learn um, wing attack at a pretty uh, fast clip. And wing, wing attack would 100% ruin Dom's life, as would Psychic. But thankfully, I'm not really having to deal with that right now at the moment. Which is really helpful. Grammar! Seismic toss. Get ready to get tossed. Hmm get hard. I don't blame you. Slap. Hmm. Really? At the end, dude? Come on. Whatever. Karate chop! It's a pretty strong karate chop, to be honest. Ooh. That's a level up, too. Nice, nice, nice. No. You ain't learning that move. I don't know what makes you think you can learn that move. You ain't learning that move. Ooh, that works. Karate chop! Uh-oh. Okay, thank god. <sighs> we might be finally at the stage where Hyper Fang kind of falls off a bit. There was a definite period where if we got hit by a Hyper Fang, it had the potential to ruin someone's life. Now it just steals a good amount of damage. Uh huh. I already know. I keep, I keep, literally, activating all these stupid um, traps because I want to. So please stop reminding me, game. I'm not an idiot. I mean, I am an idiot, but I'm a different kind of idiot. But anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Thank you for watching. It's another daily Nuzlocke stuff. So. Till next time, everyone, you guys have a good old day out there. Bye.